I'm just saying, BLS was the first station to, that I, when I first heard my music on the radio, and I remember I was in a mixing studio, we were mastering the record, and, you know, all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, that sounds, well, that's the radio, but wait, that's my song, wait. And I couldn't put it together at first, and it was just like, and you guys, that's all you did. You played it every night, you played the instrumentals, and you guys were on it first be, before anyone, and it, it really gave me so much and it made me feel like this is gonna work out because i was very concerned for like a year why were you concerned you had hit music it was on the shelf for a year i was just watching everybody go by as wait I was a minute what on was bench. on the shelf for a year urban hang suite are you serious yeah okay this is news because i don't know this yeah it was like it was finished um 1995 so you're so. almost at 30 is it almost yeah Crazy, right? Okay, so you said you finished it in 95. It was out, and then... In 96, it came out, on, ironically, on Marvin Gaye's birthday. Wow. Because <laughs> you remember, it was the release date was Tuesday, back in the day. When, uh -huh. yes, when people went to Tuesday. record stores, just to let y'all know, if you, you know, I know everything's the phone now, but back in the day, people would go to the record store, and it would be Tuesday. So wh what are the chances of getting a Tuesday on Marvin Gaye's birthday on the, your debut album as a release? which we didn't plan, by the way. Uh, it just happened. How did that happen? You said I, it had been sitting, so someone was like, okay, we're not, gonna, we're not ready yet. I don't to think they it. were sure because I think people weren't aware that... I, I, didn't think, I, didn't think, I don't think they thought that people's ears were as sophisticated as they were mm -hmm. because at the, at the time we had a lot of, you know, rum shaker and, you know, lots of hip-hop stuff, which is fine. Yeah. But I don't think they understood that... People don't mind a solo every now and again and the instrumentation. Yes. <laughs> and poetry maybe in, in the lyrics and maybe <laughs> no misogyny up in the in the house. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So no disrespect to anyone who has done that. Um, you know, but you know, I I don't think they thought that it was going to be that way. But you guys you guys banged it out every day and Everyone was asking, like, what was, who's this? What's this song? Are you even playing this? Yes, who's I remember when I first heard your song. We were in, I was still in Florida at that time. <laughs> and I was over at my friend's house. It was like a bunch of us radio people. And they were like, yo, we got this new joint. And I'm like, oh, snap, Aww. what is this? <laughs> like, for real. Thank you. And we started playing it down in Jacksonville, Florida. Which I played at, yes. by the way. I went through, I remember it's funny, this guy walked up to me. And he was like, yo, thank you for coming to Jacksonville. I'm like. Why wouldn't I come to Jacksonville? <laughs> it, was, it was the foreign land back then. It was a whole different world. It really is. But, you know, you have to go to the people. Always. You can do, you can do New York and Vegas and L.A. and blah, blah. But it's, those, it's, our, it's Little Rock, Arkansas. It's yep. Grand Rapids. You yep. know what I mean? It's like you got to be in the cut. You got to go to them. You can't always make them come to you at the big city. So I'm always grateful to, to, to make that happen. Where's your book? I need a book. I mean, like, you're dropping, for real, a, a motivational, a music book, something. I mean, you know, I, the book is, I'm still living the, the book. The bio <laughs> I'm, I'm still, still, I'm give still us a living little, this book Give out us here. A, little, a little mini. Yeah. <laughs> little I'm mini. out here, you know, holding on to a thread. <laughs> But I'm, but again, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm. This has been an incredible journey, and none of it would have happened if it wasn't for WBLS. Seriously, I want you to know. I know it's your 50th anniversary birthday, but literally, my entire career is like literally lives on you, and is like you're the root and the core of what made all this happen. So this is on a good Friday out here. I we cannot <laughs> wait for Serenade. The yeah. whole tour that's coming. Tickets are on sale now. Yeah, FYI, today. go get your money. You got paid. <laughs> go and buy these tickets to go see Maxwell, Jasmine, October. And the whole tour starts in September. Yeah, it starts in September, so you got time. Imagining your outfits, or do you pick the artists first? Um, I, I'm just, I, I, I can't say that I actually pick the artists. They actually make the decision to do it with me if mm. they want to or not. Mm -hmm. And it means the world to me that Jasmine... You know, we toured in 2008, yeah. so, you know, that was her first album. That was kind of like my 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 tour before Black Summer's Night came out and Pretty Wings, that you blasted it, like, forever. But, uh, we still do. Thank what are you talking you. about? But that was, like, a year before, and, you know, she could have made a decision to say, no, nah, I don't really want to roll with him. Yeah. But she said, you know what, I, I rock with him. 
And she actually gave me more, you know, vibes and, and the energy is always great. And I'm I'm so obsessed and fascinated by her voice. I mean, it's just she's amazing. Anything she puts her voice to is timeless. It is timeless. Instant. Speaking of which, you have October London, who's kind of new on the scene, and yeah, his yeah, voice yeah, yeah, sounds like he's been here before. Like we're like, okay, are, are you really Marvin? I mean, I'm not right. sure. Yeah. He's so amazing. how do you? <clears throat> I'm just grateful that someone is keeping the tradition alive yeah. and giving people an opportunity to see that they could do something that is something a little here because the reception that he's getting is so great. Yeah. And it gives me hope for soul music and R&B and blues or whatever it is that we want to call what we do as people of black folks out mm -hmm, here in mm -hmm. music. Um, it's just nice to see someone that young doing something so so unique and so timeless. And it's good. It just it, sounds good. It does. So when do you guys take off on the road? Uh, we start in September. Okay. So I got time to kind of get it together. Uh -huh. and, you know, experience Get your little the one, summer. two step together. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you always put on a dope show. People don't realize. You think, oh, it's Maxwell. It's cool R&B. Yeah, but you, I've seen, I have video footage of you like dropping it, taking the mic. You get in there, you start doing your dance moves in front of the mic. You yeah. are a true artist. I'm, a, I'm just doing my best to just get through that hour and a half <laughs> as best as I can. Um, but I'm just one thing that I can truly say to everyone that comes to the show is that I'm so grateful because the truth is in the room. Mm. You know, when you see the room full, you know what's up. I yes. Mean, you can get streams and it's nice and all that and great because, you know, you have people who casually will, will mess with you on on musical level. But when right. people make plans, get babysitters. Get that their, outfit. Yeah. I mean, that's <laughs> when you know that you've that the impact is real. And so, you know, every time I step out, I just want to make sure that they know that we really want to give them the best time of their lives and we want to give them memories that they can cherish forever. And um, so I'm just like, again, you know, extremely grateful to to, to Jasmine because, uh -huh. you know, I, I've been invested in her voice. She is. That girl's lyrics and the way her, her vocals just go, Yo, it's like silk for my real. My favorite joint is, <laughs> I tell her all the time, like mascara is just like a cold stone. Yes. Like, I can't believe. I just love the way she put the words together for that. Um, and, of course, October is killing it, you mm -hmm. know, just smooth with it and just just gives me that vibe of, the, like, when we came up. Yes, sort of, a absolutely. Bit, which is, it's like, I feel like I'm in a, like a parallel universe <laughs> when I hear him. <laughs> So I'm grateful for his work as well, for sure. And we're grateful for your work. We're, we're going to talk more with Maxwell in a minute to find out about his process, what he's working on, and more about the Serenade Tour. Keep it on WBLS. <laughs> Damn, that's weird. Ooh. So that was yeah. out in the world? That was live. Damn. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't know. Why? Are, do you get nervous? That's of course. Why? Yeah. You, you are know. Maxwell. What no, are you talking you know, about? With these comments I hear, you could fall into all kinds of nonsense. <laughs> just two words. You two words away from the destruction. You know what? Of your you're, life. you're so right because you could just be riffing off the top of your head. These folks these days, out of context, they'll put like... you, and then you're like, now nah, you're that. He's you're that canceled. Guy. <laughs> no, but Yo. do you get on social media at all? I mean, are you playing around on that? Do you do any of the TikTok stuff? Or I don't. I'm not... No, I'm a lurker on TikTok. I have an account. I have not posted like me doing anything, but there's so much fascinating stuff there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> let me see who's doing what. It's, yeah. it's fascinating. I mean, you know, I, I need to sort of quiet my mind because uh -huh. it's so much stuff that you can see. and It's true. And, and you're kind of like, okay. And you have to understand people are having fun with the content yeah. and it's not personal. Yeah, well, you know? you're an artist. That's right. So you guys have a different sense <laughs> of things. Sometimes, you know, you'd be all really emotional about like, why they do that to me? And, <laughs> you know, you see your meme and you're like, damn. And you're like, but you know what? It's not in a bad way. It's right. like they're having fun with something you did. And they're did. talking about you. That's a good thing. That is the other you part, You want to keep the, the, the <laughs> conversation going. I just hope that the conversation always revolves around the music I do. Of course. Because if it's, if, it's, if it spirals into something else, then you But then problems. you have to lean into it. <laughs> And just own it. You know what I mean? I think that's the best way to do, because, you know, there's certain things going on right now about certain artists. I think that if that <laughs> artist just leaned into it versus other things, it may, right. you know. This but, is not live, right? No, this is not. <laughs> this is kind of, okay. when we said, because when, when we said other artists, <laughs> we know. We go, people go and like speculate. You know, you have to be real specific out here about what you're saying. <laughs> 
who you mean in and what you mean about what you said. Right. And who it's about. Right. If you leave it open, they're going to run. You are so crazy. <laughs> no, it's true. And that is true. But, all right, so you've seen the game change since you got into the music industry. Yeah. What does the process and everything look like for you now when you go into making your music? I mean, is it the same, or are you incorporating other elements thought-wise before you start writing or get with a group of writers? How does it work? I just, you know, for me, I just want to like uh, add to the discography, add to the um, the collection that has already exists. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I'll, I also sometimes want to like, you know, just shake it up just a little just bit, a tad. so people can feel like, oh, he's not sitting in his sweet spot always, mm -hmm. like in his comfort zone. He's he's still, you know, he's still. He's not comfortable. Right. He's he's still uh, aware that he has to work and push and strive, <laughs> and, and not rely on the past to kind of ride him through mm -hmm. to his moment right now. So that's what I try to push for as much as I can. As but much. you've made so many classics. We don't mind <laughs> when you go and play these jams. We're like, yes, I was dating so and so back then. Yeah. I was in the club. No. <laughs> I was hanging. I was vibing. Like seriously, your yeah. your music is timeless, as we've talked about with other artists. Who are some of those artists that inspire you? I mean, there's a lot of people that, I mean, obviously, the uh, you know, there's Jasmine, of course, because mm -hmm. she's, her pen is crazy. People don't understand she wrote Strength of a Woman for Mary. Did she? Yeah. Did I know that? Uh -huh. I don't know that yeah, she's, she's, a, she's a writer. It's insane. Um, and, uh, of course, you know, I just, there's a lot of people out here. I mean, I love, man, there's so many People is Sade, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I come from a different... I don't know what's happening out here right now, but I love, like, Summer Walker. Yeah, I, and I love are you Ari a SZA Lennox. fan? I love SZA because yeah. her pen is crazy, too. And that's like that new... This, But this is what you did, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> seriously, the whole neo Soul movement went, and I think this is what you guys have given birth to. This is part of your legacy. Uh, yeah, it's awesome to be part of, like, you know, a link in the chain and, and see yeah. how it actually progresses. But then, of course, there's Money Long. She's a, Her pen is crazy. She is amazing. Now, the way that she can go and make a dope R&B joint, then she's written country stuff, then she had a whole era as Priscilla Renee doing pop music yeah. that people are like, huh, this is this is the same chick. I, I, I love all of her, all of her eras. Yeah. I will say one, but... <laughs> I love her R and B phase. Yeah, it's just for me made for made for me. Mm -hmm. It's just like it takes me to that like that '90s like where I'm like, like this is why I love music. Yeah, this is why I do music. Yeah, I mean for me it's like when I hear something that beautiful and it's so instantly classic mm -hmm. that you're like, yeah, now that's is, one of the ones that people loved on on social media. You need to get on there and do one of those things, one of those little twins. Where have you been? Come on. <laughs> I know I saw all of that. I'm right. sure she's like really happy about it. Um, but yeah, she's worked, been, you know, people don't realize she's been, I think from what I've seen from my, you know, from the outside, I don't really know her like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it, she's been working hard out here, you know, just trying to, you know, get her vision seen and everything. And it's just nice to see you know, her dreams come true because she's extremely talented. Yeah. And, and how she does what she does. Okay, well, wait, circling back to you and mm -hmm. new music, because we know you're notorious for making us wait. We are <laughs> here like, Maxwell, <laughs> what, what's up? I'm Give sorry. us another album. I got stuff. You got some stuff coming? I got some stuff, y'all. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any any specific um, collabos or anything? Or do you have any that you would like to do? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people I'd love to work with. Obviously, you know, I've, I've, had, I've been blessed to work with Alicia. I've been mm -hmm. blessed to work with Nas. And I did something with Alchemist because um, he did that. We gon' make it. Come on. We he guys like it. And it's just, damn. I was like, whoever did this, I'll do whatever <laughs> yeah. at this point. Um, but, yeah, like, I'd love to work with Beyonce. I'd love to work with Jay. I'd love to work with, I mean... Oh, we're about I'm, to put I'm you open. in the studio then. Yeah, we're going to make I'm, this happen. I'm open to what to whatever, you know, what makes sense. Uh -huh. It's not about just featuring or being featured for the sake of broadening an audience, but because, you know, you want to make That's something good. that people like. Um, sometimes it's like a transactional thing and you kind of feel it, mm -hmm. you know? So I don't want it to be a transaction thing. I want it to be like, this makes sense. So... You know, whatever God brings, it's Good Friday also. <laughs> whatever God brings, I'll do. Okay, we like that. <laughs> now, what do you do? I was asking you beforehand, what do you do, like, for fun? What do you do? Are you, like, in the kitchen cooking? Do you hang out? Do you, you know, socialize with friends? What does that, what does a day in the life of Maxwell look like? I mean, you know, I get up, you know, and, you know, brush my teeth like everybody. <laughs> well, we hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I try to get some workout vibes in. Mm -hmm. um, I try to, you know 
keep the affirmations positive and, uh, you know, just stay aware of the reality of being a human being and not being caught up in, like, all the stuff that's... That can really... Yeah, you know, just... Draw you in. And, you know, just keeping grounded as much as possible, understanding that, you know, I'm blessed, Mm -hmm. that God has, you know, carved out a path for me, but not everyone is as fortunate, you know, and so, you know, being empathic to those situations as much as possible. I mean, that's, you know... It's, it's. I just try to keep it normal as I much as possible. I love it, though. You are your own vibe <laughs> in and of itself. Maxwell is his own vibe. Well, thank you for stopping by. We cannot wait for Serenade, the yeah. whole tour that's coming. Tickets are on sale now. Yeah, FYI, today. go get your money. You got paid. <laughs> go and buy these tickets to go see Maxwell, Jasmine, October, and the whole tour starts in September. Yeah, it starts in September, so you got time and... Um, See you there. See you in the fall, guys. Love it. Perfect. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that was awesome.